Hello everyone. I am Assistant Professor Urmisha from IT ICT Department of LJ Unit of LJ University, and we will be discussing regarding the Unit Number Four, that is Telephone Networks. Basically, in the previous session, we had discussed regarding transmission plan, numbering plan, and we were going to discuss regarding charging plan. In today's session, we will be continuing from the topics where we left in the previous session, that is classes of numbering plan and charging plan. And what are the different types of charging plan? So these are the topics that I will be covering in today's session. So let's start with these topics. So basically, in the previous session, we had discussed regarding the different classes of numbering plan. The first one is open numbering plan. The second one is semi-open numbering plan, and the third one is closed numbering plan. So most probably this will be the last session for this unit that is unit number four telephone networks. And after this we will be shifting to another unit that is unit number five data networks. So basically in this numbering plan we had discussed that it is doing the job of true caller app which is rightly now available as in application in our mobile phone it is identifying the number or the user's identity or information from which place the user is calling to the call subscriber in this category we already discussed the open numbering plan now let's understand what is semi open numbering plan so basically in semi open numbering plan it allows number length to differ by one or two digits so basically sometimes we are having a call of four digits five digits or there are some spam related or uh, some calls which are coming in true color in form of red color so those are calls from different countries or from other countries where the number digit or the number length is not equal to our country in fact in our country also we have certain illegal or some forms where the number digits are not matching ideally with our international or our numbering plan so those are using the numbering plan as semi open numbering plan nowadays this scheme is common and is adopted by many countries like india sweden switzerland and united kingdom for certain application we require certain length of digits only for calling from one place to another place at that time we use semi open numbering plan the another type of plan is closed numbering plan this is a uniform numbering plan and it is widely used by a lot of countries and the number length is fixed in this there cannot be any change in the number like in india we have a 10 digit mobile phone number so it will be uniformly accepted by the countries which are using close numbering plan in close numbering plan the number of digits in a subscriber plan or in a subscriber number is fixed and this scheme is adopted by countries like france belgium usa canada hawaii so these countries have already actually accepted this close numbering plan where the number of digits for dialing a person is fixed so this were the different types of numbering plan in national numbering category other type is also there that is international numbering plan for numbering purpose the world is divided into zones each zone is having a single digit code which is written as a most significant read and after that we have rest of the number like for india we have plus 91 the number starting in india is from plus 91 and after that the number is 
respectively identified by the user number. Each country within a zone has the zone number as the first digit of its country code. The European numbering zone has been allocating two codes because of the large number of country codes required within this zone. So in European countries like this, we have the one to three digit country code and after that the national number is typically ranging from 9 to 11 digits. So North America is having plus one code. Africa is having plus two code. Three and four are allocated to European countries. South America and Cuba has five as a code. South Pacific Australia has six as a code. Russia is allotted a code 7. North Pacific is allotted a code 8. While Far and Middle East are allocated the zone code 9. So this way different numbering plans have been designed based on the zone codes. And that has been allocated to different countries based on their zonal codes. So in international we have zone wise division. Now what is there in national numbering plan? The national numbering plan consists of three parts. These are the first one is area or trunk code. Now what is area or trunk code? It identifies a particular numbering area of the called subscriber and therefore it determines the routing for a trunk call and its charge. A numbering area is defined as the area in which any two subscribers use identical dialing procedure in the network. So this is area and trunk code. Now the next part is exchange code. An exchange code identifies a particular exchange within a numbering area. It determines routing for incoming trunk from other numbering area or in the same numbering area. So basically routing information is gathered by the exchange code. Subscriber line number, it is used to select the called subscriber line at the terminating exchange. CCITT terminology states that a subscriber number is the combination of exchange code and subscriber line number. The subscriber line is listed in telephonic directory. So these are the three different parts of nat national numbering plan. The first part is area trunk code. Second part is exchange code. Third part is subscriber line number. Then the other type of plan is the charging plan. What is exactly a charging plan? Based on the requirement of user and based on the cost capacity to pay to the telephonic companies, the subscribers are subscribing certain plans of charging based on that requirement. So a charging plan deals with recovering both the capital cost and operating cost from the subscribers. The charges made to the customer are devised in the following ways. The first way is an initial charge for installing the customer's line. Second charge is annual rental or leasing charging. The third charge is actual call charges. Now these three charges are very familiar to all of us. Right now we all are using Geo SIM cards in our mobile phone or if you are using any other SIM card like Airtel, Vodafone or Idea. This is common for all SIM card that firstly you have to pay the yearly rental for having that SIM card services like incoming and outgoing services on. So that is the rental charge for one year. Before paying the rental charge, firstly, whenever you are taking any, char uh, taking any new SIM card, 
the installation initial charge is there which is one time only the third charge is the actual call charge now if you are uh, taking a plan of uh, 349 per month and it is having an unlimited calling data of 2 gb so that is done for one month but if you require other charges like if you want to do international calls if you want to use more extra data for some office work then you need to recharge again with a top up plan that is what included in the actual call charges plan so these are the three different types of charging plan which are used or which are classified based on the customer capacity to pay and based on the capital cost invested in telecommunication industries so this is regarding charging plan further the customer share in capital cost should be covered by connection charge and part of rental the part of operating cost is incurred even if the network carries no traffic so this should also be recovered by rental charges whatever charges as a subscriber we are paying to the telecommunication industries or telecommunication companies they are investing this money or rental charges in developing the connection in developing a telephonic network where there is no traffic available for communication between two parties so the charges for individual calls made falls under the two different categories the first category is duration independent charging and the second is duration dependent charging duration independent charging plan means you can have unlimited calling that is what right now we are having in our jio unlimited plan in previous time in previous sim cards we were having a postpaid type or we were having a charging plan of uh, some 30 minutes free or 3000 minutes per month free and that we have to use or carry forward for the entire month that is duration dependent charging but right now for the whole year or for whole month you don't have to recharge because it is offering unlimited talk time and once you recharge for month for a year then it is enough so that is already included in the rental itself so that is duration independent charge and the duration dependent charging was the one which we were using previously which was offering a certain talk time hour or talk time minutes which you have to carry forward for the whole month or for whole year so these are the different types of charging plan based on the users requirement the duration independent charging is a type charging meter that is incremented only after the completion of a successful call the duration dependent charging is a type of charging where charging where meter is operated by a periodic train of pulses generated at particular time intervals therefore call charges are directly proportional to the duration of call like 1 rupee for 1 minute is the charge then that is a duration dependent charging plan so this way based on the requirement of user we have different types of charging plans duration dependent and duration independent so basically the topics which we have covered today can be referred from the following books and in this session or lastly we have discussed regarding transmission plan numbering plan and charging plan so you can refer this books for the topics that we have covered today in the next session we will be continuing with a newer topic that is newer unit unit number 5 that is data networks you can refer reference books for referring the topics that we have discussed up till now thank you so much for watching this session in the upcoming session we will move forward with the newer chapter
Thank you.